Hello everybody, thanks so much for being here. So today I'm super excited because we are going to be doing a full face of Wet n Wild, but I got the entire Spongebob collection that they just came out with and I'm pretty stoked to show you guys. Um, so it seems like they actually focus a little bit more on like, like the sponges and brushes and stuff like that. I do have a really nice eyeshadow palette that we're going to show. Um, so I'm just going to try to use as much of the entire collection as possible, which is why we're doing a full face today. Um, but yeah, let's definitely go ahead and get into it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know every time I upload a video. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So first, um, I am going to show you, I guess I'll go over kind of everything that we got and then we'll go ahead and jump into using it. Um, so I did get all of their sponges. They have, uh, okay, so I have a Patrick sponge. There we go. So it's the Patrick sponge. And then they have the Squidward sponge. And he has, like, he's an odd shape, but... He has that flat side, so that might be good for blending. And then they came out with a sponge holder. There we go. And of course, a SpongeBob sponge, because why wouldn't you have a SpongeBob sponge? So he is square, but he has a rounded bottom. So that'll be okay for blending. I'm gonna try to use all the sponges much, like all of the sponges, but then they did come out with two Kabukis. There's the SpongeBob Kabuki. And the shape of it, I think it'd be good for like doing contour. So I'm going to try to use it for that. And then we have the Sandy brush, which is a rounded Kabuki. But I think to be able to use all of them, I'm going to try to use this for uh, my setting powder. So we have that. And then we also have a primer setting spray. You're supposed to, or not a setting spray, a primer spray that is Hydrating Brightening Primer Mist. And if you look, it's like... See that swirling in there? So it's supposed to be illuminating. And then we also have the setting spray right there. So I'm going to be using all of that. Oh, <laughs> um, I got the, so it's a Krabby Patty. And each layer of the Krabby Patty is textured and it's for cleaning your brushes. This one's super cute. No pickles. Uh, Carby Patties were supposed to have pickles, but whatever. And then they also came out with a brush and sponge cleanser. Focus, please. There we go. And it's just like a little bar of soap. So what I'll do at the end of it, I'll just kind of put in a little thing showing how I'm going to clean the sponges and stuff with this. And this is Gary, the, I think that's SpongeBob's cat. And then the... Palette is so beautiful, and I will have swatches in there showing um, every like every shade, and I'll have the names up there for you. And then, last but not least, we have the SpongeBob highlighter, and I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for the Fenty Beauty uh, Trophy Wife highlighter, which I do have. So I will also put in a swatch of those two showing whether or not it becomes a dupe, but I'm going to show a little side by side of them really fast just to kind of, so I think it's a pretty good dupe. So, okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get started with my face. I need to go wet down the sponges, so I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, give me one quick second, and then we'll see how big the sponges actually get compared to where they're at now. Okay, so the sponges did get quite a bit bigger. They're super squishy, or however you say. This one in the back, I did notice it is rounded right there, so I don't know. They're just kind of odd shapes for sponges, but it's SpongeBob. What are you going to do? So I am going to try to use all of them. Um, again, I, like I said, a full face of Wet n Wild, so I'm going to be using the foundation that I love. My favorite, it's their Dewy Photo Focus. And this is the shade Light Medium Buff Bisque. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna hurry and try to get this on my face. Oh, let me pin my hair back so it's out of the way. And then again, like I said, I'm gonna try to use all the brushes and all the sponges. And then of course, I'll try to use as much of the eyeshadow palette as possible, but I will have swatches for everybody. Oh, actually, excuse me. Um, this is the, it's a primer spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my face. And then I also do, I have, wanna have another primer on my face, just I've never just used a primer um, spray. So I will be using the Wet n Wild Cucumber water. Sorry. There we go. So shake it. It's kind of like perfumey. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's, it has a perfume smell and not like, it's a sweet smell. It's not too bad. If you don't like scented um, sprays on your face, then you might not like that. If you don't mind them, it's not too bad, but it does have a scent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Cucumber Primer really fast, and then we'll get rocking and rolling with the sponges. There we go, okay. Okay, again, I'm gonna to try to use as many of the sponges as possible. So I think for the foundation part, I'm gonna go ahead and use Patrick. It is kind of big for my head, so I'll go ahead and use SpongeBob for my forehead. Mega Glow Contour Stick in shade Oaks on You. And then for the nose, I use their This is not wet and wild. This is LA Colors. It's the only thing that's not wet and wild, but I'm just gonna hurry in. Okay, just to, you know, let's just ignore that. So I am going to use this like flat side to try to blend out the contour. <laughs> So like the round part's working pretty well for that too. I'm just trying to see if the sponges have a good, like their shapes have a purpose on like, they are just kind of an odd shape for makeup sponges, but. <laughs> Okay, now that 
we have a little life back to our face. Let's get the nose blended. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Incognito, Mega Blast Incognito Concealer, and this is in shade Light Beige. And it does, this is a newer one from Wet n Wild. They haven't done like a review or anything on it. I have been using it for a while. So I'm going to use like the pointier end of Patrick to get in the corners of my eyes. Oh, that's nice. This end of Patrick, the Patrick sponge, does definitely get in the eyes really well. I do like that. Okay. Now to set, so let's just go ahead and use the, I'm sorry, the rounded kabuki to set because my eyes are going to start creasing. And this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent, Translucent Powder. This thing is no hit. It's like pretty solid. Okay, here we go. All right, that's a super soft brush. I really like it. And then we will be using the other brush for um, our contouring. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into the eyes now. Give me one sec. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this setting spray just to kind of set down that that powder in my face feels kind of dry. Just kind of pounce that in. Okay, and this is the finish so far. So the sponges do seem to have it blended out pretty well. Um, I've had white mild sponges before. They seem to be a little bit better quality, honestly. So maybe they're just going, uh, just, I don't know. It seems like white and wild's quality is getting better. Their prices are getting a little bit higher, but it, because quality is getting better, that seems to make sense to me. Um, but again, we're gonna jump into the palette and I wanna try to make something obviously colorful. Um, but I'm going to try to use as many of the colors as possible. So let's see.
So not a lot of payoff with the fingertip. That's supposed to be like one of the best ways. But a lot of um, eyeshadows you do need to have kind of a flat brush and then to wet it. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the setting spray. You can use water, whatever. And then with the wet brush you pick up the color. And let's see how it works this time. It's so much better. So from that, and then for like the inner edge, I'm going to go ahead and try to use another shimmer, or maybe we should go in with a little bit of this lighter blue, I think that's called I I Captain. <laughs> it picked up really nice on the brush. Maybe I don't even need to spray it. Let's give that a shot. Oh my gosh. That picked up quite a bit and changed the look. <laughs> so not even having to spray the brush. It's just picking it up and then putting it down. Quite a bit of fallout, but... Okay, now I'm just going to take my fingertip and kind of blend those together. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay, so for the bottom, I am going to try to use more of the green colors because that are in here. Um, so I'm going to go in with these two green colors and kind of do the bottom. So <laughs> pretty um and then I just want to highlight the top brow bone oh, so let's see yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use that same flat brush right there and I'm going to go in with tartar sauce and we'll just hit the brow bone and then the inner corner of the eye what is this super good yeah, that's like a hamburger. Isn't yep. that fun? It's on the school. Why is this? It's got to stop cooking the game. What? I feel like we lost a little bit of that orange color, so I'm just going to go ahead and smoke that. What is it do? A little bit more. Okay. How want? Okay, and that is the Nautical Nonsense eyeshadow palette. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and take it to Brazil. For my bronzer, I think I'll use the C40 
sandy brush for that. Just kind of go over the cream bronzer, I guess we already did. Now, with the contour palette, I'm going to use the SpongeBob brush because of how it's shaped and do the contour. So it definitely looks like a little toy, but it works pretty freaking good, actually. Just kind of chisel out the bone. Oh, perfect for nose contour. Okay. So that kind of worked out pretty good. So last but not least, let's go over the highlighter. So like I said before, I feel like this is a spot on dupe for the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch both of them on camera so that we can take a look. So first, for the, look how cute that, I don't know if you guys can see that engraving or whatever it is. So there's the SpongeBob. Right, and then that was SpongeBob. I'm gonna use this finger for the Fenty. Right next to it. Pretty close. I'd say that's pretty close. Yeah. So that may be a dupe, and this was $4.98, uh, just saying. So, so this is a pretty gold for my skin tone, but there is a little bit of a trick that I'm going to show you guys, um, how you can kind of tone that down. I actually learned it from when I got the Fenty Beauty Boxy Charm. So. Very pretty, very golden. You can see the gold. Okay, so you can see that it is a gold highlight. It does not, I'm not saying it doesn't look good on my skin tone. It looks fine. If you like that, then that's great. If you feel like it's a bit much or your skin tone isn't deep enough for that, um, you can take a lighter shimmer, like I'm going to take the tartar sauce from this, and I this worked for me for the with the Fenty. I don't know if it's going to work with this, but I'm going to go ahead and put that on my highlighting brush, and then kind of go over the gold with the lighter, and I just feel like it kind of tones it down. Yeah, see, and it's definitely still highlighted because it's going over it with the shimmer. Okay, now just to finish off the eye look, I did pick up Wet n Wild's new uh, mascara. It's the Wet n Wild Big Papa. It's supposed to, I guess it has faults. Let me see. Well, the brush is supposed to have 500 plus fibers. 
or so they say. So I'm going to go ahead and just slap this on my eyes and then throw some on my lips and we'll be able to finish the look. We'll go over everything we have. Okay, everybody, so this is the final look. Um, I actually really like the eyeshadow palette. Honestly, it did kind of struggle with a little bit of the pigmentation at first, but it did build up, so that is it's good. Um, it The palette itself was $14.98, so I don't know if that is quality that we're looking for for something that's $15, um, especially from Wet n Wild. I do know that there are other brands that have palettes for $15, for $15 that you don't necessarily struggle with the pigment that much. So that is something to think about before you purchase this. But I do enjoy this palette. Um, again, I'm going to have some swatches up for you guys. And uh, I will kind of pop in a little bit of a video showing how well the... Uh, Gary cleanser and the uh, Krabby Patty sponge cleaners work. So uh, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate your time. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like the look that I was able to come up with. Um, I did purchase all of this uh, product, but with my own money. This is not a sponsored video by Wet n Wild. This is just something I love to do. Um, and that I have a passion for. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as ding that notification bell. That way YouTube lets you know every time I upload a video. And yeah, thanks again so much for being here, you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.